Hello, I'm Takaya Holly, an undergraduate researcher in Dr. Peter Kroll's lab. My poster presentation is about electrospun silicon oxycarbide ceramics, pyrolyzed in nitrogen and hydrogen. This project is in collaboration with Hannah Hayes, Eloisa Ramlow, and Dr. Cooper Singh at Kansas State University, and Dr. Peter Kroll. We are using silicon oxycarbide ceramics, for, which are great for high temperature applications. They are polymer-derived ceramics, PDCs, which are easily processable with controllable chemical compositions. We have electrospun, the polymers to produce fibers, and their applications. They have applications in electronics, photonics, sensors, filters, and biomedical devices. The motivation for this project is to produce large fiber mats that can be further investigated. We would also like to study the impact of the carrier polymer and control fiber composition through processing. I hypothesize stem fibers would be attained by decreasing the siloxane relative to the carrier polymer and pyrolysis under hydrogen decreases the carbon content. The polymer that we use is polymethyl hydro hydrosiloxane, PMHS, and the carrier polymer used is polyvinyl pyrolidon PVP. We also use dichumal peroxide DCPO by 1%, which is our catalyst. We are using ratios of 3 to 1 and 2 to 1 of PMHS to PVP relatively. After making the polymer solutions, the polymer solutions are then electrospun using the parameters of a receiving distance of 25 centimeters feed rate of 5 milliliters per hour, rolling speed of 500 revolutions per minute, and voltage of 13 kilovolts. This is all done in two hours. After the fiber mats have been produced, they are then cross-linked at 300 degrees Celsius in air, and then pyrolyzed from 20 degrees Celsius to 400 degrees Celsius at 2 degrees Celsius per minute, held for two hours, then 400 degrees Celsius to 1,000 degrees Celsius at 2 degrees Celsius per minute for half an hour. In the results, in the results section, in the top left corner, you see a non-cross-linked fiber mat. And on the right-hand side, you see a cross-linked fiber mat. Below the fiber mat are the pyrolyzed fibers and the indicated ratios of PMHS to PPP with the atmospheres indicated. We also have these same characteristics and fiber diameters where you see for 3 to 1 pyrolyzed in hydrogen, an average diameter of 3.3 micrometers. For a 3 to 1 in pyrolyzed in nitrogen, you see an average diameter of 3.2 micrometers. Then for 2 to 1 pyrolyzed in hydrogen, you see an average diameter of 1.7 micrometers. And for 2 to 1 pyrolyzed in nitrogen, an average diameter of 2.5 micrometers. We also conducted an EDX and chemical composition, starting with 3 to 1 pyrolyzed fibers in nitrogen and hydrogen, respectively. Where you can see on the left hand side, is we see carbon content of about 40, and on the right, we see a carbon content of about 30%, which on the right hand side is the sample pyrolyzed in hydrogen. In summary, we produce large fiber mats using electro spinning. The fibers maintain structural integrity after pyrolysis. The stem data it supports that thinner fibers are indeed produced for smaller PMHS to uh, PVP ratios. And lastly, the carbon content is reduced when pyrolyzed in hydrogen compared to nitrogen. And we would like to acknowledge Dr. Gian here at UTA in the CCMB for his SIM support and the National Science Foundation and also the Partnership for International Research and Education. Thank you.